Uganda. For long known as the Pearl of Africa, for it's a beautiful land with amazing scenery. The rain forests provided the much needed balanced ecosystem and dozens of herbal remedies. But suddenly something disastrous occurred. The once beautiful pearl is no more. A major clash between humanity and the forest cover is evident. The increasing human population has turned pressure on the forest reserves. Cutting down the indigenous tree species for a number of reasons. Climate change is taking the toll. Weather patterns drastically changed. Prolonged drafts and flash floods that were never recorded in the country, now becoming more common than ever. And life is on the line. But, the tougher the going, the going must get tougher. One organization is working day and night to rejuvenate the beauty and the scores of advantages that once accrued to the natural forests. Kizito Tree Conservation Center Located in Kikonj Mitiana District in central Uganda, the center was established in memory of a forestry officer, Erasmus Kizito Kiwuta. Men are on site day and night, clearing ground and recalling most of the indigenous tree species. We asked the founder, Joshua Mukalazi Kizito, son to the late forestry officer. Why the effort? Mr. Kizito uh, planted a lot of trees as a forest officer across the country, up to tune of uh, like 40 square miles in the areas of uh, Ginger Road, uh, along Mutana Road, and including the northern part of Uganda. If you set up such places for people who have done some good work, uh, this would also encourage the future generation. Uh, it, they would also become uh, motivated to also work harder and do some good work for the nation. Secondly, uh, this conservation center has been set up as a, a tree bank. A lot of uh, local indigenous species have been cut down. So we need a, a point of reference where uh, such uh, local species can be kept uh, for the future generation to come and learn about uh, such trees. It, it teaches uh, our future generation how our sisters used to survive within their environments and also be able to have long spans of life. This center is going to act as a, a, an active voice because uh, it would be a, a point of reference whereby all we people can get together, including the, the local community, including people from elsewhere, where we can address issues of the environment and uh, the, the changes within the climate. Because what, what you must bear in mind, um, we are facing uh, changes in seasons of harvesting and sowing, so it's really becoming very difficult for us. So we hope that uh, by having such a centre we can get together and uh, learn about how we can address the issues of the climate and also address issues of the environment, how we can keep it and safeguard it for the future generation. From a distance it may appear like a banana plantation, but deep inside lies the secret of fresh life, indigenous tree species being raised in an agroforestry setting. In Uganda when people see you planting trees, uh, they see it as a waste of land. We, we would prefer, uh, particularly those ones who come, they, they prefer to see somebody uh, planting crops or rearing animals. So if you see an activity they can easily associate with, um, it becomes a starting point uh, in teaching them that you can actually plant trees, but at the same time plant your crops and also rear your animals. And uh, by doing a mixed activity, uh, they have come to learn how important the planting of trees is necessary in protecting our local environment and how 
the planting of trees is very necessary and vital in uh, protecting our climate. Kizito Tree Conservation Center is proving to the community the need for a fair, balanced ecosystem and calls upon nature-loving people to join hands. We appeal to people from all walks of life, uh, even the specialists in the environment, uh, so that they can come and we can they can help us uh, so that we can invite people within the community so that they can uh, give us a few lessons about protection of the environment. Uh, we appeal to any kind of help. Uh, people who have got uh, like uh, tree seeds, uh, they feel that they should be preserved. Uh, we welcome them to, uh, to give us that kind of help. Um, our vision is, is to eventually to set up uh, an environmental school uh, starting from infancy uh, so that we can supply our local community, so that we can supply the nation and, and even the world with the environmental scouts uh, that really have the environment down at heart because the interest has been developed from infancy. As such, our vision will be able to set up a, a primary environmental school uh, which is going to teach infants but as well as our adults so that we can increase on the environmental effort.